In this video, I show you how you can make a Facebook page. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. A Facebook page is a great way to go and build a brand, a business, or whatever you want it for. So let's get into this. To go and create one, it's pretty simple, and I'll run you through everything you need to know. So what you need to do is firstly go to the bottom right and go and tap on menu, or the top right and tap on menu. Then once you're here, you then need to go and tap on the pages option in menu. For me, it's quite near the top, but you need to make, you may need to go and scroll further down or even tap on see more. So once you go and tap on pages, then what you need to do is go to the top left of this sort of carousel of options and go and tap on create just here. And now we can go and start the creation process. So go and tap on get started like so. And firstly, you need to go and choose the name of your page. So in this case, I'm just gonna call this example video because this is what it is. And then just go and tap on return and tap on next at the bottom. The next thing you need to do is go and choose the category of this page. So in this case, I'm gonna go and type in education as that what my channel is all about really. So I'll make an education website. And you can go and add more categories as well. And then once you're done, go and tap on return on your keyboard and we can then go and tap on create. So there we go, we've actually now gone and created the page. It'll take a moment to actually do this. But now what we need to do is go and finish setting it up. So we need to go and add some information. So what we can do is go and type in a bio. So I can go and type in uh, a channel dedicated to helping people. And you can then go and add some contact information. So your website, your email, your phone number. So in this case, I might just add uh, the guide round website. And then you can go and add your email, your phone number, address, location, and hours as well. So in this case, I'll be always be open. Then you can go and tap on next at the bottom and we can go and get to the next sort of set of set of stage. So now we need to go and customize it. So this is pretty important because it's going to really add your branding. So you want to go and add a profile picture and then sort of like a, a profile banner, I guess. So just go and tap on the camera icon and your camera roll will then open. So I just went and selected a photo I've gone and used before. And then I could also go and add a banner as well. And there we go. I've now gone and selected a banner. So I'll just wait for that to finish uploading. And then I'll go and tap on next at the bottom. And at the bottom as well, you're going to get a score for your page health. Uh, and this is basically just sort of seeing how good your page is. So yeah, you want to get that as high as possible, ideally. And you can also go and add WhatsApp if you like. I'm not going to, so I'll click skip. And you can also invite friends. You could do that as well. And then what you can do is choose if you want marketing and promotional emails. I personally don't. Um, and you can have page notifications as well, which is quite useful if you get likes and comments. And that's it. Go and press done. And we've now gone and finished setting up our page. So as you can see, there it is. We've got our profile picture and things like that. Take a tour, it's probably quite a good idea to do that. And then you can go and scroll down and that's it guys. Like you can go and start posting things, inviting people, go and tap on create if you'd like and create some content. And something that's quite cool to add I think as well is an action button. So this button's gonna be like quite visible on your profile. So to do that, you just tap on the three dots below create and to the right of C dashboard just there. And then you can tap on add action button. And at the minute I've just got a message button which I don't really want, so I'll tap remove there. Then tap on edit buttons. And then I'm gonna go and have a learn more button so then they can get taken to my website uh, or my channel. I'll then tap on then tap on return and tap on save. And then that action button is going to be added to our page. And then what I like to do as well is go and view it as it would look like to a visitor. To do that, you tap on those three dots again on the right hand side and then tap view as, and you can then go and look at what it goes and looks like as like a, just a normal viewer. Then you can go and click on like, learn more, and scroll down and see some information as well. And of course, you can go and edit all of this. And to edit that information, once again, go and tap on those three dots and then you can tap on edit and you can go and edit your page settings. And of course, just like to get edit your sort of, um, Facebook profile settings, all you need to do is tap on menu, whether that be in the top right or the bottom right like this, and then you can just go and click on the gear icon in the top right or cog icon, or scroll down, go and expand the settings and privacy and then tap on settings. And yeah, you can then go and change your settings. So if you guys found this useful, please consider leaving a like, peace.